What up boys and welcome back to another video. So it's a tradition by now where I weekly upload a video where I've done a hundred runs of uh, either a dungeon or 10 hours of an open world farm. Then we see how much gold I make on that. So in this video we're doing RFD which uh, I've done many many times before and I've received uh, anywhere from over a million gold in market value to last time it was 106 like 106,000 gold that was it so super super low uh that's like 10.6k uh, gold an hour even though it only takes like 25 minutes to do 10 runs still like you get dungeon locked out so um it's still not right to say well you get like 21k like double it because it only takes 25 minutes so hopefully this is going to be better than uh, the last time. I really doubt it's going to be as good as the time where we got above a million uh, gold in market value because the market is like at an all time low. Like transmog items are selling for close to nothing. So I'm going to show you guys how I run it. Uh, keep in mind that I am running this on a speed tune. Uh, uploaded a video about that like a week ago or so. Like how my current speed set looks right now. It's also super important to kill the spiders hanging up in the roof because uh, RFD doesn't have that many mobs, you know. So you always wanna um, you always wanna kill every single mob to increase the chance of getting something. I also have level one BFA inscription, so I'm allowed to open up chests uh, doing so. It's super easy, and you definitely wanna bring a tune that has a profession or bring a rogue, so you can actually open up uh, chests while doing RFD. There's a ton of chests. And um, the items that you are after in RFD and why so many people do it is because the the world drop loot table in RFD is relatively good. You can get some of the minor jade pieces like gauntlets and belts and so on. And the drops steadfast, ember silk, salt stone, like all of these high in demand green items can drop in RFD. Also when it comes to patterns and plants, look, double chest. But when it comes to patterns and plants... Uh, it can drop like the rich purple, the uh, star belt, lesser parry, a ton, the serum gold blade. There's so many uh, good patterns and plans like super rares. And on top of that, it also has like RFD specific transmog items like blue items that can be worth quite a good amount of gold. So that's why I'm doing RFD and that's why a lot of people are doing RFD to get... Uh, those specific blues mainly because you're always going to be able to beat a dungeon farm doing like a, a five-man farm. However, at some point you should go out and do the dungeons because the dungeons um, will have most of them at least will have those unique items that can only drop inside the dungeon. And also it's kind of hard to constantly get a five-man group for farms so many people prefer uh, like dungeon farms. And... Um, that's pretty much it, like why you should do the farm and uh, like the dungeon is super, super small. I don't even really need to show you guys the route because you can't do anything wrong with the farm. You really can't. Make sure you check all the hunts, uh, the huts when you're doing the farm because they can have a uh, chest inside them. There is 100% chance of getting uh, a chest inside one of the, uh, the next huts right here. So make sure you check those and there you have it. That's one. I mean, I don't normally loot when I do these runs. And even though I uh, mention in the video why I don't loot, people still ask me. So I'm going to mention it again. Pretty much I don't loot because I've already done 100 runs of the uh, the dungeon. And if I loot now, I'm going to get loot from 101 runs in the dungeon. And no, the, uh, the loot does not get sent to your mailbox. That's only from bosses. There's a lot of people who think that I just run through the dungeon, go out, reset, go back in. And at the end, I just go to the mailbox and pick up all the loot. That's not the case. I normally do loot every, like after every mob kill. So once you kill the last pack, as you guys saw up here, I don't kill the last boss. I just jump down because uh, it just it's not worth it for one additional loot table. And then you just walk out this alternative way. And once you're out, you just click uh, on your loot oppressor. You click reset instance and you run back in. And that's... That's it. Super easy to run it. You can't really go wrong on it. And when it comes to uh, what you're all watching this video for, like how much gold did I make? These are the items that I'm left with. Uh, kind of sorted out already where you have the uh, 
the salt stone pieces right down here but you guys can already see the price like this one market value of 45k now it's only 5k on my realm and then we've got some uh, steadfast items we have some ember silk some symbolic but like you guys can see the market value and the sell rate insanely good but the 600 percent increase for green items absolutely destroyed many of these items because a lot of people did Taos Needles Cave, the Saltstone Cave, when that was a thing. Then we got some Ember Silk, some uh, Watcher, uh, some Jade, Celebrate once again, absolutely insane. And I managed to get two epics, the Gut Ripper and the Nightblade. And then I got the Golden Scale Shoulders, Shadow Hood, which is actually really good, and the Steel Weapon Chain. Uh, blue items, the only uh, world drop blue that I kept was the Hellslayer Battle Axe. Then I got double Bone Slasher, only 12k on my roam. Usually, uh, well, not usually, but market value, 37.5. So big difference on that one. And then we also have the uh, Archaic Defender. Also a good one, actually going for market value right now. Where, as you guys can see, I previously sold four days ago, 900 gold. Absolutely horrible. And then we got Corpse Shrouds right here, 8k, 10k market value. We've got a Quill Shooter, Double Death's Head Vestment, the uh, Quill Ward Harness, which is 8k on my realm, 13k market value. This one too, like this, they used to be good, but now they completely suck. And then we've got the Freezing Shard, 2k previous, well, on my realm, 7.7k market value. Got some Fortcast Boots. I remember back when I sold these for like, easily 25k a pop and now 5.6k absolutely horrible uh 149 gold in my realm i mean come on then i got some storm gale fist this have actually gone up but recently 14k market value which that hasn't gone up uh but like the min buyout is currently 10,000 gold right now and i got none up on the auction house and then I also got the Briar Treaders, uh, almost 7k market value, reach of market value, and min buyout, only 3,000 gold. So now it's time to take a look and see uh, how much gold in total this is going to be. Before we do that, I do want to mention that you guys can still get the 0 to 10 million gold guide 50% off using the code SHADOWLANDS. So basically, when you click the link in the description, then you click on I want this. It's going to give you a feel to type in the, the code Shadowlands to get 50% off. And uh, yeah, we're going to use our uh, TSM macro. This one's going to calculate all the value like in the bags and uh, give me how much it's uh, worth in total. And if you guys want to get this uh, macro, uh, then it's going to be on my Discord pinned under general chat, which you can also find in the description. But let's see. Clicking this one and shapo. Yeah. It's better than last time, 178,000 gold. Definitely better than last time. Keep in mind, that is not the market value because these are like 40k each, right? So the market value is way higher. But on my realm, if I put everything like it is right now up on the auction house and it were to sell, I would have made 178,000 gold. So like roughly uh, 18,000 gold an hour doing RFD. Not the best, not the best. But I truly believe that in Shadowlands, the market would get like a... Some sort of a soft reset where price is going to go up again. So uh, it will be good. And now I only got like a couple of dungeons left before uh, we're done until Shadowlands. Because Shadowlands is out in like three weeks. And once Shadowlands is out, I'm going to be super busy doing Shadowlands content farms. And then once I'm done with Shadowlands content farm, I'm going to move back to doing old content. But then I'm going to do the uh, two new series that I've been talking about. And also more dungeons, more 100 runs. Price is going to be way better. It's going to be exciting. Uh, yeah, well, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video, as always. And I will see all of you guys back in on tomorrow's video. Until then, bye-bye.